Hello, welcome back on my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show how to split a point cloud layer into tiles. Tiles are useful when the point cloud layer is very large and we need smaller tiles to handle. We can also retile an existing tile set. In the processing toolbox under point cloud data management, I select the tile tool. In the tool, I select Delft as the point cloud layer that I want to split into tiles and the tile length can be specified in map units. In this case, I will use 500 meters. Then I choose an output directory for the tiles. I create a new folder called tiles. This operation requires a lot of temporary uh, disk space and uh, the disk space on my C drive where the default temporary folder of QGIS is not enough. So I'm going to change here under the advanced settings, the temporary folder location. And on this drive, there's enough space. So I create a temp folder there. And here I can also change the number of threads and I keep the defaults and run the algorithm. After running the algorithm, I can find the tiles in the tiles folder and uh, I'll select uh, the tiles. They're in the last format and I drag them to the map canvas where they will be converted to COPC. Check the result by removing uh, the original layer. And there we see that our tiles are uh, there. Uh, note that the tiles here that were created don't have a coordinate system. Uh, we can assign the coordinate system in the tile tool, which I'll show next. I'm going to run the tile tool again. Now I'm going to demonstrate how you can retile existing tiles. So I use the 37 tiles that we just created and I'm going to retile them to 1250 meter tiles. And in this case, I'm going to assign the projection that we want for the output. And I write the result to a new folder, which I call tiles 1250. I go back to the advanced settings, the algorithm settings, and I change the default folder there again in temp. You see that it has uh, removed the previous one, so I create it again. It's just for running this tool, and then I run it. After running, click close, and remove the previous tiles from the layers list and add the new tiles to the map canvas. There you see the boundaries and it's uh, automatically producing the COPC files. So in this video, you've learned how to create tiles from a point cloud layer or to retile existing tiles 